Hello everyone, today we're going to review a new subwoofer. This was sent to me by the team at Power Sound Audio. This subwoofer is one of two brand new models in their subwoofer line. I'm fortunate enough to be one of the first to review the subwoofer, so a very sincere thank you to the Power Sound Audio team for sending me this for review and allowing me to share it with all of you. And here is the PSA TV18. This is a massive sub. The cabinet is 25 inches tall, 20.5 inches wide, and 32.5 inches deep. It weighs 147 pounds. It has a front firing 18 inch ferrite woofer. It has a slot ported design and a rear mounted 1920 watt RMS ice amplifier capable of 4300 watts peak. Looking closer at the amplifier controls on the back, we have a power indicator light, an on, off, and standby switch, gain control, time delay, crossover control, room size control, 12 volt in and out trigger, left and right RCA inputs, XLR inputs, and the connection for the power supply. I ran a few measurements using REW. Keep in mind, measurements in my room are specific to my home theater. Measurements in your room may be very different. I have a roughly 10 dB dip between 50 and 69 hertz. Then it stays pretty flat down to 16 hertz. The dip at 16 hertz is there for every sub I have tested in my room. After the dip, the TV18 doesn't just recover, it actually picks up a little steam and stays flat down to 10 hertz. I'm very impressed with the measurements of the TV18 in my home theater. Beyond the two dips, which are ultimately driven by the characteristics of my room, the TV18 is pretty flat down to 10 hertz. I'll show a few clips. These will not sound close to how they sound in person, but you'll be able to see some of what I demoed in my home theater and see this 18 inch driver move. So grab some headphones, check your volume and take a listen.
pushed the TV 18 pretty hard in some of my demos. I threw some bass heavy scenes at it. There was no struggle with the TV 18, no bottoming out. The opening scene of Edge of Tomorrow and Blade Runner 2049 are both low, super intense, brutal scenes. The TV 18 handled those ultra low frequencies of Edge of Tomorrow, no problem. And that slow dive into LFE coupled with that long sustained low pounding in Blade Runner 2049, also, no problem. The final battle in Ready Player One is something I frequently go to because the sounds in that scene span the frequency spectrum. There are sounds everywhere, including all the big and little explosions, crashes, and impact sounds, all captured in those low frequencies that are quick and varied. But the TV-18 did just fine. If I had to be overly critical, I would say be mindful of its size. It is huge, so make sure you have the space for it. I have plenty of space and I really like seeing all my gear out in the open, so the TV-18 fits in just fine in my home theater. I had a lot of fun with the TV-18. I thought it performed well. It's an absolute monster of a sub. If you're looking for a new sub, I would recommend giving the PSA TV-18 a try. It can dive deep into those low frequencies. It's got lots of power and that 18 inch driver is pretty nimble.